Hi guys, so on our last video we've learned how to make a shortcut space tree by hand. And today we're going to be using the same shortcut space tree to make an actual recipe. The recipe of the day, we're going to be using that beautiful dish to make the famous French quiche Lorraine. The quiche Lorraine, it's a basic version of a quiche which is basically bacon, cheese and a savory custard. Very easy to make, very fast, very simple and absolutely suited for home use. So let's get started. All right, so making a quiche Lorraine is a bit of an assembly game. And before we can make the savory custard and make the quiche itself, we need to prepare absolutely everything. So in terms of food prep, you're gonna have to pan fry 200 grams of bacon, I've got here, two types of little bacons, 200 grams of cheese, I'm using a standard cheddar cheese, 250 ml of milk and cream, equal amount, two full eggs, two egg yolks, a bit of salt, and some nutmeg and cayenne pepper. When you get all that, we can move on to the next stage to assemble everything. Okay, so now that my food prep is ready, I've rolled out my dough already in my dish. And the one important thing you must not forget is to take a fork like that and you're gonna make little holes at the bottom of your dough. And that's gonna allow for the heat to come through and to make sure everything is cooked evenly. When this is done, you put it in the fridge so the dough is gonna keep nice and firm and we're gonna make our savory custard. Okay. Let's make our savory custard, or what I call the quiche mix. It's a very simple mix and it can actually be used with any type of quiche you want. So we're going to take our cream, 250 ml, 250 ml of milk, so it's equal amount of milk and cream. Whisk a little bit. You add your two full eggs plus the two egg yolks together. It's nothing more simple than that. Salt. And finally for the seasoning, one pinch of nutmeg and one pinch of cayenne pepper. Mix a little bit. And your mix is ready. And now for the fun part, the assembly. You're basically going to take a piece of your bacon, a little bit of your cheese, and you're going to try to put things evenly here and there, everywhere in your quiche, okay? So make sure you got a bit of cheese, a bit of bacon, and you repeat the process until everything is nicely shaped and nicely formed. All right, easy done. I've spread everything evenly. As you can see, the cheese and the bacon, it's everywhere. It's a nice like 50-50 kind of amount and it goes all the way to the top and that gives me an indication on how good that quiche is gonna become. Next step, we're gonna pour the savory custard on top. So, you're gonna use one of those, kind of a sieve. You're gonna take a container and filter everything on top to make sure there's no eggshells, bits of eggs or anything like that. Pour everything in, let it sink. Put this on the side and you're done. I'm gonna finish off with adding a little extra bacon everywhere mm, because we love bacon. It's absolutely beautiful. And I'm gonna put this now in a preheated oven at 200 degrees Celsius or 425 Fahrenheit for 30 to 35 minutes. Time is up and I just took my quiche out of the oven and this is what a classic French quiche Lorraine looks like. Now, the one thing you have to resist as much as it looks good, you should not be attempting to cut or eat that quiche right away when it's out of the oven because a quiche has to be eaten at a kind of a room temperature. So I'm going to leave it here for at least 30 to 45 minutes and then we're going to cut a piece. And that's it. The quiche Lorraine has rested, I've cut a piece, or I attempted to cut a piece, and it was still a little bit too early, and this is what I wanted to show you before I go. And if you look here, you can see this kind of slight wateriness in between the mix. That means that your quiche has not rested enough. A good quiche should be absolutely all firm, easy to hold in your hand, and easy to cut. But that said, you can always, of course, cut a piece, and enjoy it, so I'm gonna just take a bite. Mm. Mm. It really does not get old. 
beautiful dish. Now, if you can make it at home, it's very simple, very quick. Give it a go. It's really, really a French classic. But that's it for the video of the day. If you have any questions or comments, of course, send it over and leave that in the comment section and I'll be happy to respond to any of your queries. Have a good week and I'll see you next time.